BMW just released a new model called the M2. However, it's not really an M2. This so-called M2 is not really a bespoke M car like the previous M2. That car came with its own special engine, a much lighter weight and it didn't share too many components with the F80 M3 or M4. This one is different. It has the same engine as the new M3 and M4, the same gearbox, same front and rear axles, similar suspension setup and same big screen interior and they weigh almost the same. What that means is, where the last M2 was lighter, more fun and more playful than the F80 M3 and M4, this car is the same as the new G80 M3 and M4. The only difference is the 2 series chassis, but almost everything else is identical, except for one thing, power. The standard M3 makes 480 horsepower, but the M2 makes 460 horsepower despite sharing the same engine. That's because BMW detuned it so it doesn't outrun the M3. So it's compromised. And why bother buying a compromised car? In terms of pricing, in South Africa, the M2 is supposed to start at 1.5 million. The reason I'm using supposed to is because the pricing was released in December 2022, so it may be inaccurate. Also, for 1.5 million, you'd be getting a bare bone no options M2 before dealer markups. Realistically then, this is a 1.8 to 2 million rand car. The new 2 series grew in size and weight to be more comfortable and practical. But you don't buy an M car for that. But if it's practicality you want, the G80 M3 is perfect for you. And for 1.8 million, you can get it in competition form with X drive. 510 horsepower taking you 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds. The claimed 0 to 100 time of the so called M2 is 4.1 seconds. But watch as Matt Watson from Kawao launches it on a downhill slope to get a fake 0 to 100 time of 3.8 seconds. I mean, look at the road. It's clearly downsloped, which makes the time invalid. But he doesn't care, so it's slower, less practical, and not as good value as a G80 M3. But have you noticed that all the M2 reviews came out in the last 24 hours? That's because when car companies release a new car, they give YouTubers conditions and what they can say or do with the cars. They also give them embargoes, which tells them when to release the video. So ultimately, all the car reviews you watch on YouTube from mainstream channels are fake. But I'm here to tell you the truth, no filters. So this car is not an M2. It's a rebadged M3 or M4. But you might be excited about this car because it comes with a manual gearbox. But that would be wrong. BMW specifically made the S58 to be paired with an 8-speed automatic and only threw in a terrible long-geared manual gearbox as an afterthought. Because of this, the manual is slow unresponsive and completely out of character. Just look at what happens when you floor it in second gear. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Into the threshold. Push, push. 
The auto is much faster than the manual because it's geared wrong for this engine. So it's pointless. The original M2 was a bespoke sports car with its own special character. It was light, fun and exciting. This new car is nothing like that. It's heavy, ugly looking and an outright M3, M4 clone underneath. So it lost all its specialness in the pursuit of power. That happened to the original M3, so it's truly sad that we've lost another one. But there is at least one hope for the compact fast cars. Long live the RS3, the king of compact fast cars. Long live the last bastion of hope.